Okay, so when it comes to WatchOS 9, we are still on track for a September release and today's update certainly does bring us a step closer to that. As you can see, for me, Beta 7 came in at exactly 128 megabytes on my Apple Watch Series 7 and in this video, I'm going to be telling you all there is to know when it comes to WatchOS 9 Beta 7. My name is Ben and this is Half Man Half Tech. Okay, so first things first, the first thing you have to know when it comes to this watchOS 9 update is the required or supported devices that are going to be supported when this update does come out. So you do need an Apple Watch Series 4 or later. The Series 3 has been discontinued from this watchOS 9 and the iPhone that's paired with your Apple Watch when you try to update to watchOS 9 should be an iPhone that supports the latest iOS version which is iOS 16. So you will need an iPhone 8 or newer and an Apple Watch Series 4 or later in order to update to watchOS 9 when it comes out. And obviously this is not all that Apple released today. When it comes to some other software updates, I'm sure you can see here on my iPhone that Apple also released iOS 16 and it just shows as iOS 16.0 but in essence this is beta 7 of iOS 16 and not only that if we go to the Apple developer page you'll be able to see here that Apple released iOS 16 beta 7 like I just showed you and also they released iPadOS 16 beta 7 but once you install this update for some reason it shows up as 16.1 and there is no macOS 13 beta 6 yet this software is going to most probably be delayed and of course today they released watchOS 9 beta 7 and tvOS 16 beta 7. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel and if you want to stay up to date then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now let's quickly go into the software changes to see what this update has to offer. So you can see that I have been updated and if I go to the about section here you can see the build number number that we have here and it's 20R5359A. So this build now has an A at the end and this is the second consecutive A build that we have when it comes to this watchOS 9 beta and it just goes to show that when it comes to st stability this is better and more smoother and Apple is really focusing on optimization and bug fixes. So with that in mind, let's quickly look at some of the new changes that are here with this update. The first one that I have to show you, you might have seen it if you follow my beta updates. It has to do with the software update. So as you can see here on this watchOS 9 beta 7, when I went to update my watch, you can see that the latency or the time it took the OS to be able to detect the update is way less compared to what we had on beta 6 and even way way less compared to what we had on beta 5 and beta 4 so definitely you can see that the os is more polished when it comes to the latency delay when it when you are updating your devices and also something that was affecting me on the previous beta has been fixed here so if we go and select like any new watch face that here because this is how i was experiencing it on the previous beta has to do with series so let just listen. What time is it? It's 4.31 p.m. Okay, so Siri's voice is now back to normal. However, when you do the quick tap action for time to tell, just listen to what the voice says. Okay, I'll just repeat that for you. So 4.31 p.m. Somehow that is still glitched out, but what time is it? It's 4.32 p.m. Okay, but at least for now, Siri is back to normal and the voice that Siri is using is the regular one. I'm sure with more updates, that is something that's going to be resolved. Now, when it comes to some other changes when, when for this watchOS 9 update, if you go into Jiggle mode for your apps here and you 
go to edit right you see that your apps go into jiggle mode and you see basically some of the apps that you can delete and some that you can't but as you can see here the wallet app you actually can't delete it but according to some sources there is code in the latest ipad os 16.1 beta that just came out today that suggests that very soon this could be a possibility for some apple devices so you can see the code right here and it does mention the ability to be able to cancel the wallet app so that is something that we might not see with this ios i mean with this watch os 9 but it could be something that comes with the next point update of watch os 9.1 where you'll be able to go into jiggle mode and edit your apps and remove some apple applications such as your wallet app so this comes at an interesting time where apple is going through some antitrust issues with the wallet app but for me it's been working just fine and my apple pay has been amazing and also some of my cards that i carry in the wallet app are working as they're supposed to this beta update also fixes an issue that had to do with now playing obviously you can see that i'm not playing anything on my iphone right here and also on my apple watch i'm not playing anything but this is something that i was just testing out to be able to test out to see whether this bug was still there where now playing would sometime glitch out when playing a media or a song using like an third party application like spotify or youtube so that i can confirm that for me at least on my series 7 and on my version of ios that i'm on that is an issue of the past so generally this update is focusing on bug fixes and battery and device optimization not a lot of new features or changes are going on here but there are some issues that you have to be aware of when it comes to this update and the first one will go into the release notes so that i'm able to show you those issues so watch os 9 beta 7 release notes you will see here that we have an issue when it comes to wallet and it says american express cards might need to be removed and re-added to wallet after updating to watch west 9 beta 6 or later so i can confirm that that is still an issue of course at this time and obviously you can see from my crown here on the side that this is not the cellular version of the apple watch but for the people that do have the cell version and not just the wi-fi version there are some reports of connectivity issues for those devices and also there are some issues when it comes to some complications once again when for the new watch faces that were just released with watch os 9 betas that are going to be coming so you can see here that for me I, I don't put a lot of complications at least on this astronomy watch face because it just looks good like this and i can always you know see the information that i want to see but yeah there have been reports of complication issues now if we go back into the release notes just to get a, a general overview of what apple told us when it comes to this update you can see that uh, here there is a known issue when it calls when it comes to core kit there's also core graphics deprecation and also device discovery ui we do have a non-issue with backwards compatibility and a networking issue so most of these are just general and nothing major besides the wallet issue that i have mentioned and other than that this seems to be most of the changes that i hear when it comes to watch os 9 beta 7 when it comes to the battery performance i've been using this update since um for about four and a half hours now so i just want to show you a quick overview of my battery and how it is so you will see here that i'm on 80 percent and i've been using it for about four and a half hours and if we go to the battery health right here you can see that my maximum health capacity is on 95 percent so it's still not too bad and the performance that i'm getting when it comes to the battery optimization and device performance is basically more or less average i can't say that my battery is draining like drastically it seems to be the normal for me when it comes to this update and when it comes to like a possible release date for watch west 9 when you can look forward to updating i would say well according to what we usually see with these updates next week on the 30th we could be expecting watch west 9 beta 8 and then 
the week after that on the 6th perhaps after the apple event on the if it does take place on the 7th then we could be getting the release candidate on the 7th after the event completes but we are yet to confirm that because if the apple event is on the 7th then the week before on the 30th we could be getting the invite sent out for that apple event so keep an up uh, keep an eye on the channel i do tend to update people regularly and also on my twitter handle and other than that that's about it for me when it comes to watch os 9 beta 7 if you do like this video then definitely do leave a like and stay safe and i will see you in the next video peace